regular Sims 4 mermaids, now they're lame. I want the crazy mermaids, so I downloaded this mod. <laughs> Have you been thinking that you just kind of want more ways to be an asshole in The Sims 4? Were you thinking like, I want to be a total dick and a mermaid at the same time? Welcome to Expanded Mermaids. I prefer brief tutorials, so that's what you're getting. This got updated, so here's what's new in 2022. I'll go over the couple types of fish that you can now be. A super quick overview of the features, how to play, and all the cool shit you can do. To install the mod, just do whatever the link in the description says and stuff. But here's how to play. I'm gonna start off by making a mermaid and create a sim, knowing that there's now three mermaid paths I can take. That is the kelp people, the sea witches, or the regular mermaids. That already came with the game. I just went swimming to see what's different and you can already see that there are new options like the sea shanty song and then the dive deeper option or the dive for kelp or fetch fish. Now get ready because I'm going to discuss our less ugly and stinky option, the sea witch. I had a hunch I could do something cool if I did the dive deeper option. And I was right. Inside this chest thing, there was a Poseidon's book and whatnot. So I'm just gonna study this book. Okay, and I guess that's how you develop your sea witch skill. And the more skilled you are, the cooler spells you can get. Also, I think I just kind of randomly light up now sometimes. Which is fucking pointless. I also got the ability to play with water, which just seems kind of cool. So now I'm on a really bad date. I'm just going to use my new powers on this guy to let him know that I am not interested. So here I am creating a wind tunnel. It is not fatal, but definitely distressing. And But the date sucked anyway, so I don't feel that bad. Okay, so now it's back to studying stuff. And now I can teleport. Now it's back to studying stuff again, but now it looks three times as cool. Just real- ah. <laughs> Just real quick, let's switch to Kelpies. To keep things spicy, I'm just gonna offer one of my human sims a piece of strange kelp I found. You find these while diving deeper. Deeper. I figured this would probably turn her into a Kelpie. And it did. And with the latest update, you can change the color of a kelpie to a few different colors, but you can't really edit details beyond that yet. Similar to Ted Cruz, kelpies can only stay human for a certain amount of time. And then they get tired and then they just turn into a kelpie. So their original state is a kelpie, but they can just disguise themselves as humans to blend in. They also turn into a kelpie as soon as they touch water of any kind. And then they have to gather their energy for a really long time to be able to become a human again. So look out when you like shower and shit like that. I also read that they should turn into kelpies at night. I'm not sure if that's the only time that they can regain their power, but it might be. Other than eating a kelp, a sea witch can turn someone into a kelpie. This guy is already blue, so I'm just gonna turn him into a kelpie. He's got nothing left to lose. These shells also light up. Everything just lights up. This mod is for the best. Sea witches can phase strangers and friends over to a place of their choosing. So I'm just gonna pick a random chick and then have my Kelpie test out her powers. I felt like it was time to try the deadly electric shock. It turned out this one was self-explanatory and now I feel like a dick. Kelpies are just dicks, I guess. I figured I'd ask the Grim Reaper to bring her back. He was like, that's not bussin', but okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna shock people. And worst of all, aggressive Hanukkah was awful. Okay, it all worked out in the end. 
and now we can all be friends. So other shit witches can do. I can summon a lunar strike. I don't really know the purpose of this. It can make people fall in love with each other. It just lets you pick two people. I can make myself immortal. And I can bind contracts to cast stuff on other people. Once the, once the contract is fulfilled, I can collect a payment, whether it be money or something else of importance. So I wasn't sure what this meant, so I tried it. So if I'm someone else and I select the Sea Witch, I can now request some cool stuff, like to fall in love with someone, become immortal, or become a mermaid, or in this case a human, since I'm already a Kelpie. I'll choose being immortal. So now I can pay the witch back by either giving up love forever or a thousand dollars right now. And that's a pretty difficult choice. If you are playing as the witch, you can decide to release someone from their contract without collecting the payment. And also when you take away someone's ability to love forever, you kind of gain that for yourself. So I'll get a romantic boost towards everything I do. And yeah, there you have it. So download this if you want to be super powerful or super ugly and smelly. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow my channel if you love peckers. I don't give a cluck.